Welcome everybody, this is your boy Jordan Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Sam Meyer aka The Real Lay G, Weez G in Z Gaming. Foxy Clap the V5, Crazy Boss the V31, and even Moldy Superman YT. These people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So, with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the premium deluxe motorsports car dealership inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download all of the requirements and I am going to install this mod inside a clean GTA V folder. So if this mod does crash as your game or doesn't work okay, then I highly recommend installing this mod inside a clean GTA V folder. So all you guys got to do is download the mod. I have already downloaded the mod, so make sure you download the mod. And I will leave this mod inside my description below. Don't forget to download Heap Limit Adjuster. I haven't done it yet, so make sure you download this too. And now make sure you download Pack File Limit Adjuster. I haven't done down to. Uh, I forgot to download um, these mods. And make sure you download game config as well. Make sure it is this game config, okay? Make sure you don't download any other ones. And then download that as well. So once you have finished downloading all your requirements, then we can get started. So all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now, as you, as you guys can see, that my GTA game folder is completely empty. There's absolutely no mods in there. So, before we do start um, installing mods, all you gotta do is go to your Open IV. Now, go to your Grand Theft Audio V Windows. This process will take a few seconds. Once the application is open, go to your Tools up top on your left hand side. Then go to ASI Manager and then now open up and install your ASI Loader. Install your OpenIV.ASI and now select Yes and then install Open Camera. Then close. All you got to do next is just close your OpenIV and now we are going to install the requirements. So the next thing what we're going to do is we are going to install squidhookv.net now open up your squidhookv.net extract folder now select all the files that's in there except for the text files and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder exit out of your extract folder now open up your squidhookv extract folder and then now all you gotta do is go into your bin folder now select input 8.dll, scotthugv.dll, and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. If this application pops up, all you gotta do is select replace. Exit out of your extract folder. Now what we're gonna do next is that we are going to install uh, GTA V Heap Adjuster. Open up your GTA V Heap Adjuster extract folder and now select the uh, ASI file and drag it inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder exit out of your extract file now open up your pack file limit adjuster extract file and now select all the files that's inside there except for the readme.txt and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder now exit out of your extract folder. 
Now, what we're going to do next, okay, is that we are going to um, install our scripts folder. So, right click, refresh your, de uh, your game folder, and then now uh, right click and now uh, create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Now, make sure that you do spell scripts correctly and make sure that the it, there is a S at the end and make sure that your script text is lowercase. Make sure they are all lowercase and now you can go inside your scripts folder. Now the next thing you got to do okay is open up your PDM extract folder which is your premium deluxe motorsports um, mod. So open up your PDM extract folder. Now inside that folder there will be a few files but what you have to do is that you got to open up your folder that's inside there which is this folder now select all the files and folder that's inside there and drag it inside your scripts folder that's all you got to do now this isn't recommended okay you don't have to do this if you want to but uh, i did i did get a message from the from the mod developer that you don't need native ui but you can have it if you want to it's totally up to you but you don't need it but if you do have have like other mods inside there that does require native ui.dll then you can install it if you want to but it's not recommended but i'm gonna do it anyway to show you guys that it does work it now to install your game config as you can see inside our mods folder there's absolutely nothing so we need to go and install our mods folder to install your mods folder all you got to do is go to your update folder over here right click and copy that folder go back inside your mods folder and then now right click and paste that folder there now this process will take a few seconds because it is a big uh, file it's about 40 42 gigabytes so what i'm gonna do is that uh, i've got one minute left okay is that I'm gonna pause the video and I'll see you guys once the process is completed and we're back again guys so as you can see we've got about 10 seconds left so let's get ready open up your GTA V game config extract folder and now all you gotta do okay is exactly that bring your game config extract folder on the side now the next thing you got to do once your install is complete okay then go back inside your mod folder go to your update folder go to time 64 go to your drc packs folder now you must delete all of these okay select them all and then delete because your game will crash if you leave it in there now go back to your grand theft audio v main folder and now all you got to do okay is that we are going to go and uh, install our game config. So going back inside your extract folder and now go to GTA V config, open up that folder and now we are going to install five times traffic and five times paid. So select and open up that folder, go to your open IV, go to Grand Theft Auto V windows, now once the process is, is open, then now uh, all you gotta do is go to the top of your application where it says edit mode, select edit mode, and select yes. Now all you gotta do is go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, just scroll right down the bottom and you'll see game config .xml right here. Now you can do this if you want to, but to back up your files, all you gotta do is just select the file and drag it to your desktop so you can back up your files. Now, all you gotta do next is go to your extract folder and select the gameconfig.xml file and I'll drag it inside your OpenIV. And that's all you gotta do. Now exit out of your um, extract folder, go back to GTA V, go back to edit mode, exit out of your OpenIV, right click, refresh your, your game folder exit out of your game folder and uh, you can uh, delete that if you want to but I am going to delete it but you don't have to okay but anyways let's get straight into it so right click and refresh your desktop and then I'll see you guys in the game 
and we are back as Franklin so as you can see that I'm Franklin now what I forgot to install guys is that I forgot to install menu but um, it's all right okay we, we don't need menu but yeah but we're gonna be taking it the hard way which is um, uh, which is that we gotta drive there because I cannot teleport there without a trainer now we are actually here and now all you guys got to do okay if you do teleport here make sure that you do um, just wait for a few like a few minutes okay I mean a few seconds because the mod need to needs to load now all you got to do is just walk up towards the store and as you can see there is some cars in there but as you can see there's nobody in the seat okay there's nobody on the seat but just walk closer walk closer and then you'll see and then bingo see and then now press E and now you can purchase a vehicle if you want uh, I like my classic vehicles and then you can pick whatever vehicle you want um, I'm just gonna stick with probably this one over here that's classic and now uh, you can customize your vehicle if you want to um, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go through all this okay you can upgrade your performance you know number plates and whatever so once you are happy with your vehicle you can test drive it or you can confirm the purchase and then there you go see so guys it does work okay and yeah it completely works um, so yeah I like this mod and this mod does work right now I will give you guys proof okay that it does work okay and exit the game and I'll show you guys okay exit the game and then now over here okay down the bottom over here as you can see today is Thursday April the 1st in 2021 and it, it is 10 o'clock in the morning so uh, yeah, so that's the proof that it does work right now and it still works right now. So um, I hope you guys did enjoy it. So like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know inside the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you. If you do get, get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out. So with that I said, if you guys did like the video they smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials and i will see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out